Hey everybody, welcome to We Lead Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Today I decided we're gonna do who was in your circle. I haven't done this in a while. Um, but Divine Feminine, I'm trying to see who has been in your circle, darling. All right, let's see. Let's see what you don't see coming. Five of Pentacles is here. Mm. There's a king of wands around you in your circle, honey. <laughs> That's who's in your circle. They feel like you left them out in the cold. Um, whoever this is, they are trying to move in a new direction. They're trying to have self-growth here. Um, they desire you sexually, too. You have turned your back on this connection. Damn. Um, you not holding on to it. You felt like there was no accountability for what happened. You don't give a shit about them being your twin flame. You turn, you don't even want to offer friendship to this person. You like, I don't even want to be your friend, okay? You was on fire, I wouldn't even spit on your ass. That's who, who is this for you? Okay, whoever this is, they around though. They around, the sun is here. You are happiness to this person. You could be a Leo as well. Your person could be a fire sign, um, but or earth sign you are their ultimate happiness honey um they do not feel strong without you here when you are not around they are not strong at all they can't even create nothing when you're not around they can't do shit and they can't work with people everything going wrong they don't have no determination they can't even like have so gosh this person really breaks the fuck down when you're not there jesus everything is all these doors are being closed that's like five doors <laughs> like every door is being closed on this king of wands because you're not around and you shut them out they can't manifest as much like they used to okay here we go i thought my damn deck was upside down nine of pentacles here they're trying to move towards something they can't achieve that's why this person's whole mindset is jacked up they cannot move first of all they're moving extra slow but it's in reverse ten of pentacles it's like they don't understand how can you move towards a firm foundation when you've never had one yourself right so this person doesn't even know what a firm foundation is so they have no idea what the hell they're moving towards exactly seven of pentacles in reverse they don't know how to build this they don't know how to build upon this love two of cups they don't have the tools in their toolbox to make this work you're not holding on to it anymore you know this you know all of this you're like i i mm -mm. Uh, your person may not want to, or this person, and I'm going to call them your person, but they could be your person, okay? But they don't want to take accountability, or they don't really want to accept this Ten of Swords. Um, they need to. They need to explain what happened. It's kind of like they're blocking it. Like, they don't want... They want you to forget it so that you guys can get into a higher level of commitment here. Um, they look at you as the queen of cups, nurturing, love of love, mother earth. You are the prettiest girl in the world, <laughs> you know, um, or handsome if you're a man, like your, your energy, everybody loves you. That's how they look at you and they can't let that energy go. Look how bad they are when they're not with you. The sun, the sun is out. Ace of pentacles is here. There's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity here for potential. Um, somebody is trying to learn a new skill. There's somebody's cutting through the truth here. Um, that's the problem. It's there is a new beginning here, but somebody's not protecting themselves some kind of way, which is blocking their choices. Um, I feel like in order for you to even take a chance on this new beginning, it's like you and this person need to have a sit down, a face to face. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, like a sit down, like I need to know this, this, and this, you know what I mean? Before I can do anything. Um, yeah, because you're like, I'm releasing burdens. I'm releasing the way I used to think of how this relationship was gonna work. I'm releasing arguments. I'm releasing all of that. I just want to be able to release this truth as well. I want to know what happened. You know what I mean? So I can just forgive and move on. 
I don't think your person wants to tell you the truth because they don't want you to do that. They don't want you to forgive them and move on. You know what I mean? So they want to keep you in this um, dark of not knowing the truth, which essentially keeps you stuck and in in energetically attached to them because you're always wondering, well, what really did happen, right? Oof. Um... What they have to understand is that regardless of how much passion you may have for them, regardless of how much love you may have, regardless of how much they turn you on, because this is a lot of passion here, um, you're done with this. The wheel, you've decided to end this. The number 10, completion, end of a cycle. This is renewal for you. Um, I think you're getting to that point where you're starting to understand what you have or who you are. Um, you may be also trying to seek a new skill. You might be in school right now trying to study something when it comes to your money or maybe your job puts you into a training program or something is here. Um, but the world is here as well. It's going to bring you like this is again completion, end of a cycle, renewal. You're doing everything in the most beautiful way because of who you became. Why is the lovers here? The sacrifice um, of really, I really feel like this was your person here. They never made that sacrifice for you in this relationship. Um, they were too in their head all the time. They were too busy thinking. You think, you, you move with heart. They move with their head and maybe in too many damn ways, right? Two of Pentacles being here, they were juggling too many things at once when it came to you, and they wouldn't make the sacrifice or change their mindset um, or seek a new direction in how to get an established order with you because you weren't asking them for something that was so unattainable, um, but they couldn't give it to you. They would never sacrifice to give you what you asked. Three of Swords right behind it. Um, they were juggling you. This person didn't want to give you what you asked. <clears> they <throat> could have been with uh, someone that they have children with, whoever this was. Um, they kind of kept you in a situation or a loop with another person that they have a connection with, with a child. And they knew it wasn't any opportunity there. There was no room for growth with this person. Um, it doesn't mean that this person's a bad person. It just means that this person juggled the two of you. Um... But there was no growth there. There was no potential. So there was no point. They just did it to do it. Yeah, you left. You went to calmer waters. Because you couldn't keep waiting on shit that you did not know. You can't keep waiting on the next person to walk up to you and say X, Y, and Z. Or for the next phone call. Or the next text you read. Or the next whatever. You just left. You know what I mean? Um, which makes total sense. What's next for this King of Wands? What's next for this King of Wands? Because nobody can deal in that shit. Who wants to be bothered with that? Like, this person's always causing regret, depression, heartache. You're always lying. You're, you're, you're fucking with other people. Like, be honest. Tell everybody what you're doing so they can decide whether they want to deal with it or not. This person likes to lie to multiple people and you didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um... But what's coming up for this person is depression and regret. They're going to be regretful of the way that they treated you. They're going to be regretful of all the heartache that they've caused. It's like this person leaves a trail of hearts that are broken everywhere. They keep this type of energy wherever they go. And then when you decide to disconnect from that energy, they realize they can't suck that energy anymore from their main source, who is you, the happiness, right? And they come back. This person is pretty twisted, okay? Like, this person is kind of like the definition of misery loves company. And you're going to always be miserable with this person. Regardless of how they feel. Don't be so empathetic that you decide to take them back. Because just because they felt like you left them out in the cold. You have to remember this person's constantly doing that to you with this three of swords here. The tower. Spirit is saying, let that go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Do not feel too empathetic about this person. Don't be sympathetic for this person. They need to sit in their own bed. They made the bed. They need to lie in that shit, okay? This is that person's karma. That's it. 
That's their karma. Let's get an affirmation here. Uh, this person, this person did too much dirt to even to, to even deserve who you are. They did way too much dirt. Like I can't even talk. That's how pissed off I am. <laughs> who this person is? Like they did so much, and then have a nerve to try to come back to you. The calming energy, please. Get an affirmation here. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yes, I cannot change who you were. I can't change what you did. I can't change what happened. But I can accept it. And I can live in the energy of love and understand that I didn't deserve that. And I won't accept that anymore. And that's that. Okay? This person can accept it or not. But either way, you are no longer going to be disrespected. And I, I, I commend you for that. Acceptance. Okay, I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. I could not change how you treated me. But I can change how I treat myself moving forward. Okay? I hope that resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right? And also, I'm taking personal readings again. So you guys can book at EliteRoseTarot.com. All right, guys. Have a great one. Bye.